Hello, my little sushi rolls. So, slow sushi here, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to be playing a game today called Tell Me Why, and no, not the Backstreet Boys song. Um, but it is a very good game from the reviews that I read. It was made in 2020. It has amazing graphic. Well, I like the graphics in it. They're my, they're not like top notch graphics, but they're pretty good graphics. Everything's really pretty in it, as you can see. Like this is kind of the graphics it has throughout the game. Um, it's not the type of game I normally play. It's um, one of the decision-based games where you make decisions based off the dialogue between the characters. The only thing I really know about it is you're playing as a set of twins trying to find out family secrets. Uh, it's point-click, so there's a lot of, you know, finding out clues and things like that. There is, as I said, a lot of dialogue, so I probably won't be talking very much throughout it, but, I mean, that might work better for you guys. Who knows? Who knows? Um, you don't have to listen to me jibber-jabber further than here. I mean, I'm going to be making comments, but my commentary is going to be off, so... I'm really excited to play this game. It's been sitting in my library for a while, so let's start it. Let's go. Let's do this. Story-based game that takes your choices into account to shape your relationship with other characters. Choose wisely. I refuse. I never make good decisions. The Walking Dead games where you had to make decisions? Forget about it. Xbox Game Studios. I'm kind of nervous because I don't like usually games that come over from consoles to PC, but we'll see how it goes. Delos Crossing, Alaska, March 1st, 2005. That is a very dirty child. And it looks like we are in a... Like we've been arrested. Oh, there's a police sign right there. Makes sense. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I, I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. That explains the police station right off the rip. No guests work at all there. Chapter one is homecoming. I like that the loading thing is the little guy in the corner. That makes me happy. It's the simple things. He's very well drawn. We'll see if I get copyright claimed with the music. Fireweed Residential Center, November 2nd, 2015. So this is 10 years later? I said 2005 before, right? It's so pretty. And I said the graphics aren't like fantastic, but I enjoy them. Yeah, one of my biggest things is I have a lot of games that I play that have really good music for the background and. I end up getting copyright claimed because of it. And there's no good way to take it out. I've always tried to use like the YouTube thing and it never works. Watching people do that makes my eyes water. I know it's not real, but... She reminds me of a Sims character. When they're like yelling at the mirror, like, ah, ba, ba, da. Look at how cute that teddy bear is. His head is too big for his body. It makes me happy. So I'm going to assume that these are the twins. 
good assumption, right? That's a very small to-do list. Please give me water and sun. Thanks. I was going to try to read that, but I guess not. Okay, first, I'm going to find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm going to drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. All right. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. The other thing about these games that I'm probably going to annoy the hell out of you guys is I like to check out everything. Everything you can click on, I like to click on. I could look at this artwork all day. It's just Mars. I mean, I guess. Not the prettiest of my creations. But she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. Like a skeleton? You look like a red skeleton in the morning? I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. Mm, let's see. Keys which should be in here, I would think, right? I'd keep keys in my drawer. Take. Oh, come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Allison and Bobby. Caribbean Dream Senior Prom 2012. Listen, man, at least you went to your prom. I did not. I don't know what it's like. I don't think I really care. To be completely honest with you. Uh, Delos News. Police Chief Brown asked council to reconsider budget. Gun control, money for local schools, doc I strikes. If Tyler will even recognize me. Last picture I sent was from the bleaching my hair at home phase. Everybody bleached their hair at home at least once. I feel like that's like a nineties. I'll check my email thing. one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Mm. Oh, we can read it. Time and I Against Any Two by Lucia Crane, The Shape of Yesterday by Linda Armour, and Summertime Sweet by Martha McNeil. I wonder if those are legit books. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. These are not Michael all the same Tyler people. are so gonna hit it off. Alright. Is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? Why would you not love that? Look at it. It's adorable. Um House keys. Gift, itineraries, sodas and drinks, snacks and drinks. I can't read. Car keys and house keys. All set. I think. Are you sure? Are you sure? Still need set? to find those damn house keys. Psh. We don't need them, just break in. Oh, I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. A Journey Through the Stars, which is Altum Season 1 and 2. You know, I am somebody that is actually guilty of that. I can watch anything on Netflix or any of the other streaming sites that I have, and I still insist on keeping very, very many DVDs. I don't know why. There's just something about... Being able to take it off the shelf. Like, I... Do I even have a DVD player? I need to bring this with me to Juno. I don't even know if I have a DVD player. Oh, keys, keys, keys. Not here. Well, that was worth clicking. I've got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Nightwatch Alaska. What are the Geminids? Are they like the Aurora Borealis? Hey, wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. Where are the- oh. There's a box. Oh, right. I st She stashed them down there. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut her off. 
jingly janglies. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. Oh, that's an ugly green haired elf. Take. Or taking it all. Or just that. I guess that's fine too. All, all right. right. I think I'm ready to go now. Let's leave. Did we bring our snacks? Did we bring our drinks? We're going on a road trip. Ugh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. Who's not? Oh, we can read it. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout out before reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie is more like letter territory. Whatever. You'll thank me when you're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyways, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing! I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How was your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and, and we can't all be car guys. Anyways, the veggies let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Allison. Okay, so... He's in juvie? I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Does juvie really look like this? Or is there something that I'm missing? Duplex duo, the dark arc of destiny. Bombed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. Everybody need it more than I do. Everybody needs an angsty teen Been track. Listening to this on a loop lately. Jim. I can't read it. Oh. The Enemigos. South side flippin'. The light distribution further. And. Oh, we already did that one. Boop. Alright. So, let's read this. Or is it, did we just read this? Nope. Hey Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but I just want to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet redeemable youth redeemable? Redeemable youth. Haha, <laughs> could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. So I'm wondering if this is less of a juvenile detention center and more of like a rehabable center. For, like, troubled youth. Testosterone refill. TRX. Huh. Are we transgender? That would be interesting. You don't see that in games very much. Take me! This box of junk treasure is now yours by the first law of finders keepers. Um. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Denali. Fire in the hole. Why can't I click you? There we you go. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Is that an actual thing? I don't know. Celebrate, educate, unite. Trans visibility march on Juno. March 31st, 2014. 5.30 till late. Brought to you by Juno Coalition for Equality. Okay, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm going to assume with that and the, the testosterone that we are transgender. By Herbert. Aw, he named it Herbert. That's cute. Shit, I gotta do. Tutoring. Help Perez with college admissions. Call Dr. Beck. Regarding counseling sessions with Jeremy, me, Aaron, regarding gardening program setup, miscellaneous finished paperwork for escape W2 and letter November 2nd, something for Allison. What did I get for Allison, hmm? All right. Hey, little guy. Oh, he has one too. With your sister soon. That's cute. I 
I wish me and my sister had crafty cool. goblins. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Oh, cool. We get collectibles throughout the game. That's pretty neat. Bye, Herbert. Please give me water and sun. I think I read that already, but I think it's cute. I hope the person that has him gives him water and sun. But it's so cute! Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Her like ring this. just glow... glue? Glowed? When she hugged him. Do you have anything else you need to get? No, nope. this is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Oh. The food or the people. I'm gonna say the people, just because he seems very connected with them and that seems like an honest, not sarcastic answer. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe, safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. I feel like that would be weird, not only seeing your twin again after 10 years, but to be free from being in the same place locked up for 10 years. I like this music. The no, music really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping Agreed. them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? Touche. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. That's cool. I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. 
while I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number? You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Great. Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. So, going back to the bear thing, I know that's not like a huge thing, but uh, how did a what bear get you? a chip truck? Allison? Who just closes a bear in oh. a chip truck and doesn't notice? Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. Fair you enough. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Look how pretty it is. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Mm. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. <laughs> I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Hold left to shift to reply. Small town life or that bad? We're gonna ask questions because I want her to tell me what the heck that's supposed to mean. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. What is a potlatch? Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Which one's Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Ooh. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. I think if I was in her position, I'd feel kind of guilty about talking about my experiences just because he's been trapped inside for so long. Sorry so, I keep moving this back and really forth. I don't know what's there, huh? going on. To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. <laughs> you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. I feel like she's a little upset that he didn't come and see her. Which I guess I would understand that. Like, if you had three years where they could come see you, I'd be upset too if somebody didn't stop in. After being gone for so long. Allison. Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. Uh-oh. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie... 
I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I'm going to say I don't care. I'm not going to completely say I'm not going to accept it, but I'm going- because he really doesn't seem to give two shits about what it's going to mean to this man at all, but it's messed up. Oh, I, I guess I have a time limit. Never mind. But Uncle Eddie's my family. He put up with me at my absolute worst, and has always been consistent and kind. I get why he's upset. Okay, I can make the decision. Okay. Oh, there's a little thing that goes down. Never mind. Exactly. <gasps> Seriously? I didn't expect that to happen. That was childish. What is wrong with you? No need to be so dramatic. I'm the one who's being dramatic. Oh, God. All right. Didn't mean to do that or cause that to happen, but here we are. Now I've just pissed everybody off. Did you hear that? Is it a bear? Is there a bear on board? Is it a whale? Whoa. It is a whale. So, I'm a jerk. You just always need to have the last word. In other words, a jerk. I didn't need to dig in like that. I'm sorry. Again, as I said, I get it. I get his feelings. I'm sorry, too. I just hoped we could wrap everything up with a grand gesture and move on to our perfectly normal lives. Hmm. That's silly. But this isn't normal? <laughs> Still your brother? Still your sister. Ah, that's cute. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. All right, so I'm going to leave this here. Um, I am going to say that I don't know exactly what yep. didn't die in a fiery crash. the How situation is between Eddie and him other than, you know, the obvious, but... He wasn't ready to take it. I'm sorry, Uncle. I think it's ridiculous that she just made it out like that. It's so weird being back on this boat. Um... Like, I, I don't feel like it was fair for her to just throw him under the bus like that at all. But, all right, everybody. So, we're going to stop here. Um, we picked him up. We've got him on the boat with us. Fuck Eddie. That's all I got for now. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.